Right guys, Gaft is back. Oh, just having a cup of tea. Yeah, it's not all rock and roll lifestyle for me. It's not all, you know, parties and booze. Sometimes you just want a good cup of tea. Right, I'm going to show you a trick. This is a performance tutorial walkthrough because it is not possible for me to do this trick with a fixed camera like this and no real spectator. I've done this a couple of times to people at work. They seem to have no idea. So what I want you guys to do is try this out for yourself and let me know if it works. What you're gonna do, or what I did, I'll show you what I did. I took a three, any three, <clears throat> and then I put, had three cards under it. And I'm gonna write this card down, the nine of arts. This is my prediction. Now what I did at work was I had um, this force card, whatever it was, in the notes on my phone. So you've got these, you've got a three, and then you've got three cards. The last card is your fourth nine of hearts. Now this is not going to be with the deck. The deck can be in the box. I haven't got the box to me at hand. This packet of cards is going to be in your pocket so we'll call this my pocket right what i did was go up to spectator say right i want you to give the cards a shuffle because you know about magicians dodgy shuffles so they're going to give the cards a shuffle right what i want you to do is i want you to deal cards onto the table now you can deal these cards from anywhere in the pack you can even put blocks of cards down if you want but the only thing we do need is at least 13 cards. Um, I'll explain why we need at least 13 cards afterwards. So the spectator's got the cards in their hand. You've got this little packet in your pocket. So while they're dealing cards from anywhere in the packet, you're going to be um, just standing by watching and they're gonna call out stop any time they like. While they're dealing these cards, you're gonna reach into your pocket and palm these cards. Now that does look a bit dodgy on camera, but in the real world, your hand's gonna be relaxed down by your side. Concentration is on this dealing process. So let's say they say they keep dealing and they say stop right here. All you're gonna do is come in and square up the cards. What you've done now is deposited the four cards you had in your pocket on top of the deck. Right, what I want you to do now this card here, whatever this card is, I want you to take a look at it. All the time you're gonna be turned away. They're gonna take a look at this card and it's a three of diamonds. So I want you to put that card aside, have a look at it, three of diamonds. Whatever the value of this card is, deal that many cards onto it. One, two, three. Now I want you to take a look at the last card you dealt. Take a peek, it's a nine of hearts. Now I want you to cover that card up with the rest of the packet and then maybe chuck it into the deck and then shuffle. So there's no way I can know what card you have seen. Is that fair? Yep. Yeah. Right, we're just gonna have a quick scan through the deck. Yeah. Right, I think I've got it. I think I know what card you saw. And all you're gonna do is go through the packet, find the nine of hearts, pull it out, put it on the table. They will be absolutely amazed that you actually got the predicted card. Well, not the predicted card, but the card they saw. But not only that, you can pull this out your pocket now or get your phone out or whatever and reveal them to, I predicted this card before the trick even started. So let me know what you think, guys. All you need to do is have these four cards in your pocket. When they've dealt down, call out stop any, well, don't call out stop, just stop dealing whenever you like. As soon as they stop dealing, you'll just quickly come in, square all the cards up. They will never know what's happened. So that is a trick, guys. Try it out for yourself and let me know how it goes. Cheers.